Hi, welcome to the Daily Aviation Channel. I'm Mark, and the plane you see here is the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, the largest aircraft in the U.S. Air Force, and one of the largest in the world. Measuring 247 feet long and 65 feet high, the C-5 is a gigantic aircraft with impressive performances. Indeed, it is able to load in its cargo hold two M1 Abrams tanks, or ten light-armored vehicles like the LAV-25 or even six AH-64 Apache helicopters, and route them to over 5,000 nautical miles away. 131 C-5s were produced in two main versions until 1989, and about 50 C-5 Galaxies are still in service today, only within the U.S. Air Force, who plan to use them until 2040. In 1963, the U.S. Air Force realized that the C-133 Cargo Master was overwhelmed by its turboprop propulsion and was suffering from early structural fatigue. Moreover, it was clear that the new Lockheed C-141 Starlifter recently ordered was too small to carry all the U.S. Army equipment. To equip itself with a much larger transport aircraft, the U.S. Air Force launched in April 1963 the CX Heavy Logistics System Program. Program participants were asked to propose an aircraft with better transport capacity than the C-141. The proposed airplane also had to be equipped with high wings, four engines, and a T-tail fin. Two manufacturers responded to the offer. Boeing presented a project that would later become the Boeing 747, and on April 20, 1965, Lockheed proposed its concept, a very enlarged version of the C-141 Starlifter. Although the Boeing project was the favorite, in October 1965, Lockheed won the competition, and the construction of the first flying prototype, designated C-5A, began a year later. In August 1965, General Electric's TF-39 jet engine was chosen by the U.S. Air Force to power the C-5 Galaxy. The first prototypes of the TF-39 were tested on a B-52, modified specifically for this turbojet engine the B-52 at the time being the closest airplane to the C-5's dimensions. The Air Force decided to equip the C-5 with four TF-39s. This new jet engine was so efficient that while offering more thrust, it reduced the aircraft's fuel consumption by a quarter compared to other engines of the time. To be able to maneuver and exert as little pressure as possible on unpaved runways, the engineers decided to distribute the aircraft weight on 28 wheels. To integrate all these wheels, the main landing gear was designed with four bogies, equipped with six wheels each. The first C-5A flight took place on June 30, 1968, at the Lockheed Martin Marietta plant. With its exceptional dimensions, the C-5A Galaxy was then the largest aircraft in the world. And despite many design problems, especially with their wings, the first C-5s were delivered in late 1968 and declared operational in June 1970. In August of the same year, the C-5 would experience its baptism of fire in Vietnam, where it would quickly prove its excellent heavy carrier capability. Today, as no other U.S. aircraft exceeds the Galaxy's extraordinary transport capabilities, the U.S. Air Force still continues to fly its C-5 after almost 50 years of service. And given the Galaxy's characteristics, this situation is easily understandable. The cargo bay of the C-5 represents a total volume of 31,000 cubic feet and is organized into two decks. In the front part of the upper deck is located the C-5 cockpit, and in the rear section, there is a troop compartment arranged like a civilian airplane that can accommodate a little more than 70 soldiers. But unlike a traditional airliner, this troop compartment has almost no windows, and the seats face to the rear of the aircraft. The lower part of the cargo hold is 121 feet long and can accommodate all the equipment of the U.S. Army. The aircraft is equipped with giant doors at the front and rear, which allow loading and unloading equipment at the same time. This configuration also allows the C-5 to perform roll-on, roll-off operations, meaning that vehicles can enter through a door in forward and exit from the other door, always in forward. And to facilitate loading or unloading when needed, the aircraft can be lowered thanks to its landing gear, allowing it to get closer to the ground. 
The C-5 was one of the first transport aircraft able to be refueled in flight. This allows the Galaxy to travel almost anywhere in the world in a few hours. Another extraordinary capacity for an already extraordinary aircraft. That's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't done so yet, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. You can also watch my other videos, and if you like my work, you can support me on Patreon to help me produce more content. Thanks, and stay tuned for the next video.